everyone, Saiyan Survive here bring you another Dragon Ball Super Superhero video today. And for a while, everyone's been wondering when will Dragon Ball Super Superhero will have an international release date. As we already know, June 11th is when the Japanese release will be out for Dragon Ball Super Superhero. But now we have word and confirmation of when and where the movie will be distributed worldwide. Why? But first, if you're not ready, hit the like button for this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell whenever I upload new videos like this. Talk about, of course, Dragon Ball. Now, of course, this is courtesy to, as always, DBS Hype of providing us some um, tweets and website information from Crunchyroll. If you guys have not known already, Crunchyroll and Funimation um, are now the same company. And with Sony buying Crunchy, uh, Sony is Crunchyroll, and Sony therefore buying Funimation. Um, they decided to instead of keeping the two companies separate, that they're phasing out Funimation slowly, and they are actually making just Crunchyroll the primary one, with Funimation being phased out. Now I'll get to more of that, of what that leads to, to the dub later on. Now first, of course, this is from the US hype, as I said earlier. Crunchyroll is officially br uh, bringing Toy Animation's brand new Dragon Ball Super Superhero film to theaters across the world this summer. The latest Dragon Ball Super movie will be released across the globe in both subtitled and dubbed formats in North America, Latin America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, the Middle East, and Asia, excluding Japan, of course, because Japan is getting that first. Of course, this comes from a tweet from Crunchyroll's French account right here. Okay, so right, so right there. The soul of the Reverend Army lives on through to superpowered cyborgs. Cyborgs. Interesting that I didn't see Android. That's pretty interesting. We post as superheroes. Country will release super. Talk about super superhero in theaters worldwide in sometime in 2022. And we get the official right here from their website. This is from Google Translate, of course, of everything right here. You see right there, as we saw right here. Country roll. And subtitle and dub versions early. early during, I mean, worldwide and those versions and of course this is from the French um, website but there will be a French dub in Europe I'm pretty sure and I'm pretty sure there will be a Smash up as well and I was just informed by watching Keekton's video that some other parts of the uh, in Europe in those countries may not get it first depending on where and how they do those things later since certain countries do get it later but of course if you want to see it early you can always do it there now, we don't know when exactly, but IGN gave us the news of when exactly it will happen. As you see right here, Crunchyroll and Toy Animation, as I said, Crunchyroll, Toy, Crunchyroll is facing as Toy Animation. And Toy Animation have announced that Dragon Ball Super Superior, the newest film in the hugely popular anime franchise, will help theaters grow globally this summer following the record breaking success of Dragon Ball Super Superior Bro Broly. The blockbuster anime franchise will be is heading back to the green screen in Japan. The movie will be released on June 11th. And starting in August, so not too long afterwards, a month later, Dragon Ball Super Superhero will be rolled out in theaters in North America, Latin America, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Africa, the Middle East, and the rest of Asia. So that is pretty cool. That we're not, that we're not gonna have to wait too long. We're gonna wait literally a month later. Um, hopefully not the end of the month, maybe like sometimes the middle of the month, maybe like August, um, mid of August, that'd be cool. But yes, um, as you guys, um, saw earlier, there will be a dub version of those movies, but since now Crunchyroll is pr being the primary name for Funimation now as Funimation is being phased out, it's still Funimation that's doing the dub, but it's now being called Crunchyroll. So all those same actors that you love, like Sean Schemmel and Christopher Sabat and Kyle Herbert, are going to come back, are still going to do the roles. And of course, it will take some time to actually translate the, um, the, the script into English, but apparently it can be done really fast to uh, dub everything out. As, of course, we've seen shows do a bi-weekly really on a, on a simul dub, so it is possible for a movie, of course, of a movie this scale, it could be, I think, uh, hour night, night, hour thirty to our movie. But depending on how many fight scenes there are, it will probably won't take that long to do. But 
pretty hype August. Stay tuned for the channel when I do have the the English dub release of the movie, and I might even see the Japanese dub just to see to see for for comparisons. But if you're out there in the rest of the world, be happy that your countries in these parts of the world will get the movie soon. So, but actually, it looks like it's like all over the, the world actually, which is pretty cool. So. Yeah, let me know down in the comments down below. Are you hyped for the movie coming out in August? If you don't live in Japan, of course, that will show come out in, in June. I am hyped. Hope you guys too. And yeah, this is the end of the video. Be sure to hit the like button for this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell whenever I upload new videos like this. Talk about, of course, Dragon Ball. And stay tuned later on this week when we will get the draft pages for Chapter 84 for the, for the Dragon Ball Super Manga. Hopefully on later this week, and I'll bring it to you guys as soon as I can. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. This is the end of the video. This is Saint Survive signing out. I'll see you guys later. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.